Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. In this video, we are going to create a circular image view in Nano Studio. This is very important topic and students face lots of difficulty while making circular image view in Nano Studio. So in this video, I am going to clear every doubt related to circular image view. Before starting this video, first we see what we are going to make. You can see I already created an application. It has a normal image view and a circular image view. You can clearly see the difference. Now don't further delay, let's start the video and see how to make it. So for this, simply open your Android Studio and click on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity from here, click on next. Give any name to your project. I gave circular image view. Now click on finish. Now the project loads successful. So first open your activity main XML file. Now click on split. Delete this hello world. And change the constraint layout to relative layout. Now, first, I have to add a dependency to make a normal image view to circular image view. So, the dependency is card view. So, I always recommend you always add dependency from project structure. So, I show you how to add it. So, simply click on file. Now, click on project structure. Now, click on dependencies. And now, click on plus icon. Select library dependency. Inside the search bar, simply type card view and it show lots of dependency simply select first now click on ok now again click on ok now gradle build and now the gradle build successful it means dependency setup correctly now first i have to copy the image which i am use in my project so i minimize it and you can see this is my image so i copy it now after copying paste in drawable section so click on drawable and right click then click on paste and now click on OK and you can see image paste is successfully. So I use two image view one is normal and one is circular. So first take an open bracket and simply type I and it automatically show in suggestion. So simply press enter on image view. Set the layout and height and layout width according to you. I give 200 dp both layout height and layout width. It is your choice what height or width you want to give. Now set the margin top. I set margin top 200 dp to place it in center. Now set the margin left. I set the margin left 50 dp. Maybe it less so I change it to 80 dp. Now it's fine. Now give any id to access in java file. But in our project we are not going to working with java file. So but I also give an id. So it is your choice whether you want to give id or not. So I simply type android id and give any id name. I give the id name image view 1. Now close this. Now this is our normal image view. Now first I have to add an image. So how we add image? Simply type android src and your image name. My image name is user. So I type user it automatically shows in suggestion so I press enter. Now my image view is already in square format and the background is also white so maybe it create a type of illusion that it is automatically present in white. So what I have to do, I simply change the background color to black to make a clear cut difference between a normal image view and circular image view. And you can see this image is square. Now I have to make a circular image view too. So for circular image view, simply take an open bracket and when you type card, it automatically show lots of suggestions. Simply press enter on android x card view dot widget dot card view. So after this set the layout width and layout height of your image. You can give any layout height and width. I give 200 dp. Same as above. Now first type center horizontal and pass through. Now type center vertical pass through also. Now it overlaps so I have to give margin top. Now type layout below because I want this image below my normal image view. So simply type layout below and pass the id name of normal image view. So id name is image view 1. Now I give simply margin top to make a space between these images. So 20 dp is fine. Now it look perfect. Now. I simply add an margin left same as above so so 80 dp is fine now after adding this this is not going to work because I already create a center horizontal line so I have to remove this so I delete this and now you can see the image aligns perfectly but this is not an image this is a simple card view inside this we have to take an image so first I close this bracket after closing this bracket P remember take an image view inside this card view so I press enter simply and take an open bracket again and simply type image. Now set the layout width and height same as your card view. My card view length height and width 200 dp. So I give the same parameter here. After this give the image source. So I simply type android source and 
user again that's it now we have to give in scale type so simply type scale type it automatically show in suggestion press enter and type center crop inside this now for making this image view round we have to add in one more line inside the card view not inside the image view so come inside the card view and simply type app card corner radius and type the corner radius 50 dp now it's perfect now one thing before checking this application the margin top is very large so i have to decrease this so i decrease the margin top from 200 dp 200 dp now one thing is the most important thing of this video the corners of the image are rounded by the help of app card corner radius now one thing you have to give the corner radius same as your image width and height let us suppose if your image width and height is 200 dp then you have to give card corner radius also 200 dp because otherwise if you give less dimension then it is not going to be proper circle it may be oval shape or maybe other rounded shape so for making it perfectly round you have to give the card corner radius same as height and width so i change it to 200 dp from 50 dp now our project builds successful so i click on run button and you can see gradle start building now it installs the application in my phone and you can see application installed successfully and our project is ready successful so hopefully guys you understand everything if there is any query just comment down below i try to give answer of every comment please like the video and subscribe my channel for more android and web development project thank you show some love to my videos give me some support thank you see you soon in next video